so in this video now we are going to learn last value function that present in sql server where we can get that whatever that last value we enter in any of that table and uh, again we can put that based on our condition filter by uh, sorry partition by and we use order by so now i will move it to sql server and show you how that going to work so last value this is that function where we need to pass that scalar expression that where we can pass that column name and after this over clause then partition by and order by clause needed and then row range clause so this one i will explain how that row range is working so i'm going to use that table as select a star from hr table okay so now if we run you see that we have six rows and if i go with sequence uh, sorting order by sequence then last int is four six but now we will try and see how that going to work okay i will go for last value okay i will go for higher date okay over sorry order by i'll go with department now then later we'll go with uh, sequence as well okay as last value okay so now if i run it now you can see here last value is need to become 310 because we did that order by on department but you see it's coming 01 Zero two for department for HR it's coming four six because four six for department is last is that four six and then for IT it's coming uh, three ten is last so three ten is coming so it's basically is giving us as per department name not as per uh, what we need that last entered value okay so now what I can do that reason behind is that road range clause so I will explain. Now in that by default, it's what is doing. It's a starting with first, okay? And unbounded preceding, it's a starting. And then it's ending on that current one. That's why it's started here and it's ended on this one. So it's giving us one and two. For HR departments, it started with HR and it's end with this one, four, six. Okay, here it's checking these three rows. That's why it's coming four, six. And same for IT, 0, 2, 0, 4 and 310 so 310 is last so it's displaying 310 for it but we need last entered value 310 for all of them not here so if we need like this one then we can do that partition by and then we can get it but if we need our requirement is only to get that last value entered then what we can do we have by default i will show you how is that so rows between Unbounded. Proceeding and received the current row. Okay. So you will see now still that value is same. Okay. So now what I can do? I will remove that. And I will put sorry. Okay, so my bad. Now, sorry. If I put that current row, so what is doing? It's comparing. Last time it's comparing by department. Right now it's comparing with the same one, and it's giving this same rows. So you can see 0, 1, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 6, 0, 4, 0, 6. So same rows starting here and ending here. And last time it was ending by default with that department. But now since we need that last one. So in place of current row, what we can do, we can do here unbounded. Unbounded following. Okay. If we do like this, so unbounded preceding and unbounded following means first row till last row, it will compare and then it will get that last row for us. That's why now either we did by department or if we change that by sequence 
So now you see last the here, last one is three ten, so it's coming three ten. Now if you change by sequence, so it's came four six. So now it's coming four six. So I hope you understand that how we need to use that unbounded preceding and unbounded following to get that last value where uh, we need if we need that last row and if we not need that if we need department wise or sorting order then we can use that normally or we can use that partition by as well i hope you like this video thank you